Hey everybody. <clears throat> Hope you guys are doing well. <clears throat> I'm feeling better. Um, so I'll just, you know, go off the jump, you know, first of all, you know, the reasons why I check into the Louisiana weather is, you know, Joshua lives there and I've always had, um, you know, fond feelings of New Orleans. I'd love to go back there someday. So yeah, I keep a track on Louisiana weather and when I see, or just even, you know, crime and all that, um, and then when I see crimes being committed, um, I think it's good to send good energy to those that have been affected in a negative way. <clears throat> so that's why I do that. Uh, you know, as far as my mom choosing to cancel so sudden, um, she told me she was concerned that something might happen to me. And because she paid for the ticket, she would feel guilty. Um, you know, I told her that anyway, Part of me staying here and, and helping out with the house like she had agreed in a kind of indirect way to not an indirect she did agree she broke her word she said she would get me out to arizona or you know re, you know give me a a trip somewhere else out of portland because she knew for you know since april i've been talking about wanting to get out of portland wanting to get out of portland and i stayed to help my dad and my brother <clears throat> so but uh you know she just did not feel right in her gut She's really worried. She wants me to get vaccinated, and she's worried I'm going to catch this. Um, I think because Sedona is a very wealthy city, you know, me being who I am and the way I look, she uh, didn't feel comfortable. So, got a little booger. <laughs> Anyways, um, uh, what else did she talk about? Oh, yeah, the, the fight. You know, um, when I'm talking about the eve of the fight, it wasn't like last night was the eve of that fight. It was um, just in general with everything that's going on in the world. Um, you know, in my opinion, there is a malevolent force <clears throat> that is literally, you know, I, I, I say against humanity, but, it, you know, I mean, they are, you know, but it's uh, it's, it's kind of like a game, you know, chessboard type thing. Um, but they are. You know, and the way that they operate so effectively is by getting people not um, aware that they're actually doing what they're doing. So, you know, all this supply chain shit, this COVID thing, all this is, in my opinion, their <clears throat> tactics to keep us, um, you know, in a state of fear and also, you know, scrounging around for scraps and also being pissed off and pointing fingers. And it's just a way that demons create more conflict because they feed off that. <clears throat> so... Um, what else was there? Um, sorry if I forget some things, Joy. My head's a little spacey. I, I've been taking a lot of kava, so, um, it, you know, it fucks with your memory. Um, oh, yeah, another thing, too. You guys keep bringing up this serial killer thing, you know. Ted Bundy, all these people, and, you know, just and even with the pedophiles and all this stuff. Like, you know, people are so judgmental. You know, and I'm not condoning any of that activity at all, but at the same time, like, these activities have continued, you know, throughout human history, you know, I'm assuming for a very long time. And, you know, perhaps one of the problems is, is that society doesn't have a way to really help these people. You know, our solution is to stick them in a cage or, or kill them. It's not really a solution. It's not a solution. If it was a solution, this stuff would not be happening. So, you know, just uh, two bits of information for y'all and anybody. <clears throat> if you are dealing with violent people, people who express having violence, you know, tendencies and stuff, you know, instead of, you know, just judging them and looking down on them and, you know, doing things that you think might hurt them, perhaps, you know, try to help them, you know, just talk with them, you know, see, you know, why they're hurting inside, you know, don't continue to perpetuate the fact they could do these things because when you keep telling people these things you know repetition works you know it can fuck with people's heads and it's not helping so you know with you continuing to bring up things like that i'm a serial killer now you're talking about nathan being a serial killer it's like you know is that really even helping even if we were is that helping anything you know that's my question for joy you know are you able to help anything or are you just going to criticize you know, because you, you give shit about all the spiritual community, you know, give a lot of shit to a lot of people, you know, and a lot of it you write about. <clears throat> but the one thing that I've noticed, you know, pretty much since almost day one in your videos is, 
you're unable to uplift, you know, or you have extreme difficulties helping people uplift through their struggles, whatever it may be. And so, you know, just, um, you know, from one human being to another, perhaps that's something that you could work on that could help the world be a better place, if that's something you're interested in. <clears throat> I'm not saying you are, but if you are, it could help. So, <clears throat> what else? Um, I don't know what I'm going to do, you know. Um, I don't like, you know, I, I feel like I'm getting closer to feeling like I want to get clean. Like, really, like, at least, you know, marijuana and me have always gotten along pretty well, especially when I'm disciplined with it and have a good work routine. But, you know, anything else is just pushing I mean, tea's great, but anything other than that is, is pushing it for me um, and myself. So I'm thinking that I'm going to devise some type of a, you know. Oh, it's okay. Anyways, all right. I love you all. Have a good day. Bye.